Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to your Push and Pull Tuesdays. Guys, as we enter this five-week cycle, this is going to be an unorthodox five-week cycle from the last year just because I mixed some days with some others. So you'll notice that Monday was all legs, hamstrings, and glutes. Tuesday still Push and Pull, but you'll see what's happening further in the week. So, Alex, time to get that back right, okay? We're going to do something called push downs, working those lats. So Alex is just going to face the camera to start off with. But you're going to need a resistance band with a PVC pipe. The goal to this one is getting a wide grip. Notice she ste steps back, shoulders pinch back, and she keeps that chest up nice and proud. And she's keeping her arms slightly bent with a control pull down to her thighs, controlling up and controlling down. Alex, you'll be doing a total of 12 reps. Now, to make that movement a little bit more difficult, obviously you can go with a more challenging band. But take a step back to get to the perfect spot to make sure that you're challenging yourself. All right. Next movement will be chest flies. All right. So I know a couple of people want to hit these pecs. So you can do these on the ground or on the bench. Really totally up to you. But spine neutral to the ground, controlling that weight up and controlling that weight. Uh, excuse me, controlling that weight down and then controlling that weight up. Doing the same thing, 12 reps. So Alex, the way this works, we're going to put 12 to 15 minutes on the clock depending on the size of the class. Your goal is to get that done in that order. So flies, chest flies, that's one, so on, so on, until you get three rounds in 12 to 15 minutes. Then the conditioning, uh, just remember, four, three, two, kind of helps you out. Your goal is to do this in eight minutes, but I'm going to be honest, writing this out, it's not made for every single person to do this, especially if you're starting off or if long distance running is not your thing. I want you to try your best, but if you have to scale it down or your coach scale you down from a 400 meter run to a three or two, it's totally fine. But in eight minutes, you want to do a 400 meter run. Then you're going to come in and do 30 dumbbell sit-ups. So check Alex out. She gets one dumbbell, crosses this underneath her chin, kind of in a goblet position. Her goal is to get up and get down and do one rep, all right? And when she does another rep, she adds that to two until she gets to 30. Perfect, Alex. Whenever you get to 30 reps, you'll then go into 20 dips since I'm here, Alex. Um, it's cool to share boxes, guys, because you really need the depth on this one. I'm looking for your knees to be bent and then control your body weight down and up if you want more of a challenge. Lengthen your legs out and do the same exact thing for more depth, all right? Whenever you get 20 reps, you'll move forward. Now, if anybody wants to do ring dips, totally fine, all right? So, you got 400-meter run, 30 sit-ups, 20 dips, back outside to a 400-meter run. Guys, that's not going to be easy. You're doing all that in eight minutes or get as far as you can. And guess what? We're doing that three times. My people, this is your Push and Pull Tuesdays. Bring your A game. I'll see you there.